Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to June 2024 general monthly reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. And I also want to tell my new viewers that I have a new website. And so if you're interested, go check it out and find out uh, what I, the services, the different services that I provide and more information. So just go to thecreativewoman.org. Okay, Pisces, let's take a look at the transits. Okay, so the new moon, well, first of all, I'm taping on the 3rd of June, 2024, and the new moon is going to be on the 6th. Now, it's going to be in Gemini, 16 degrees, 18 minutes. So whatever you have in Pisces, it's going to square this new moon. So that's a big deal. And there's more. We have three other Gemini planets that are going to be conjunct to this new moon. And the first one is Mercury. Mercury is going from Taurus into Gemini on the 4th, so tomorrow. And it will stay in Gemini through the 17th of this month. So second, we have Venus. Venus is currently in Gemini, and it will also stay through the 17th of this month. Last but not least, Jupiter. Jupiter went into Gemini on the 25th or 26th of May, and it will stay in Gemini for a whole full year. Okay, next we have transiting Aries North Node still, and it begins the month at 14 degrees retrograde by the end of the month, 11 degrees retrograde. And then we also still have transiting Chiron in Aries, and it will be 22 degrees all month long. And those two, the nodes and the Chiron, are both going to be square to the full moon in Capricorn on the 22nd of this month. And it will, again, the full moon will be in Capricorn, one degree seven minutes. And it's also that full moon in Capricorn is going to oppose several planets that will be in Cancer. The first one being Sun. Sun is going to move from Gemini in, oh, and I forgot, Sun is going to be in Gemini for this new moon. Okay, that's another big deal. That squares all of that. So, okay, the Sun will be in Cancer on the 21st of June through the end of the month. And also we're going to have Mercury and Venus on the 18th. They both go from Gemini into Cancer. So we have three planets. We will have three planets that will be in opposition to this full moon on the 22nd. That's a big deal for all of us. Okay, next we have Mars is going to be going into Taurus on the 10th, and it's going to be conjunct to Uranus, not a close conjunction, but still conjunct, so we'll still feel it. And uh, Uranus, of course, is still in Taurus, and it begins at 24 degrees, and then by the end of the month, 25 degrees. We also still, of course, have Saturn in Pisces. It begins the month at 18 degrees. By the end of the month, 19 degrees. And also Neptune is still in Pisces, and it will be 29 degrees all month long. Now we also, of course, still have Pluto, one degree Aquarius. That will remain so. It's retrograde all month long. And that is is all of the transits. So Pisces, let's get to your 
monthly reading and see what are your major energies, frequencies that are assisting you this month. Okay, so for Pisces, sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. What are those? Whoa. Okay, both of these. Let's get this one first. Okay, are there any other strongest energies helping Pisces this month? For Pisces. Okay. Okay, so it's just those two. All right. Let's see here. First one up is surrender. It's number 39. The energy of surrender supports us to let go of illusionary control and yield to the flow of love and life. Look at that. How beautiful. Very healing, very soothing color and energy. And this uh, card has sacred geometry, so you might want to pause the video if you feel that necessary to be able to take in that and open up that frequency of surrender for you. Okay, next we have abundance. Look at that, number eight. The energy of abundance activates our ability to manifest the wealth we need and the sense of fulfillment that comes from a heart and soul that are overflowing with love and gratitude. Oh, how beautiful, Pisces. Okay, those are good. Both of those are very good. Okay, so let's see, okay. Let's see what else. So surrendering the illusionary control so that you can go with the flow, okay, and create or accept that abundance that's coming your way, Pisces. Is there any other card after this one for Pisces? Telling us, okay. Flames of Desire, it's number 17, that breaks down into an eight, so 88 could definitely be a sign or synchronicity for you if you pay attention to numbers. Let them shine out in radiant light and shun dark paths. Look at that. Okay, so I'm also getting that some of you have either let go or you're letting go of the past some some uh you've been doing shadow work if you want to call that uh for lack of a better word um astrologically maybe you've been working on your nodes of the moon your chiron um past ancestral stuff that you've been working through to clear any blockages is basically what i'm seeing here uh is either what you are doing, you have been doing, or you will continue to do this month so that you can uh, open that path up for yourself. And again, that's it's a big deal. And I also just got maybe someone is going to, I was drawn to the, there's a flame here. And what I just got was either this could be something that you're going to want to do or that you have done, um, and that is may, um, do a burning ritual. So, which means anything that you've been working on energetically to clear any blockages for yourself, you can do a ritual, a burning ritual of maybe it's past pictures or. Um, you write down a little note for yourself that you're going to leave behind and you, you burn that in a particular ritual, just uh, a specific day that you like, a time, whatever, you know, that sounds right for you. But I see you doing that or you have done that. 
and um, that's very appropriate for you this month and it could even assist you in surrendering this control maybe just write out uh, you know I give up any and all control I choose to go with the flow say it positive I choose to go with the flow this month um, on in general and just do that or also I just got you don't even have to do a burning ritual maybe you just want to um, do your own specific type of meditation or um, uh, little whatever you want to call that a ritual or your daily um, thing that you do but I'm getting that that would be very beneficial for you and that would help to um, solidify this if you're if you um, are seeing that you're needing to surrender um, any type of control I'm also getting I just got stagnant energy surrender any type of stagnant energy any type of triggering that you've been um, being triggered by okay okay so let's see with this native spirit what wants to come out and share some more information about what Pisces needs to know. It's also about the surrendering and the abundance go hand in hand. So whatever you are surrendering or you have surrendered to, uh, abundance is right, is ready for you this month. Okay, what else for Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South, North, the Moon, okay. Spirit Keeper of the North. Okay, I'm being called to read what that Spirit Keeper of the North is all about. Get my glasses on really quick here. Could have to do with a full moon and uh, what I was first drawn to is it's a winter scene there's snow on the ground so something has been stagnant something has been sleeping or you have been something's been sleeping inside of you maybe you have been going through um, some some healing process and you have been keeping to yourself Oh, I just got the word cocoon. You've wrapped yourself in a cocoon and, and you were just staying, staying there, keeping to yourself, protecting your energy, um, just waiting for the time to come out of this winter phase because during winter, that's what happens is we, we do a lot of healing. Uh, we stay indoors. We stay more to ourselves recharging our batteries and that's what you this is exactly what you've been doing okay so let's see what what it, this book has to say and I'm getting it's now time for you to come out it's 84 breaks down into 8 plus 4 equals 12, which breaks down into a 3. Oh, look at that. And you have another 3 here. So uh, 33 is another, it's a master number for one, and so is 88. So both of those, seeing 33, 88, sign or synchronicity for you. Absolute. Take time for contemplation. Turn within connect with your ancestors, incubate ideas, mend relationships, watch your dreams, meditate. The answers are inside you waiting to be heard. Stay warm, create dreams for your future, repair whatever's broken in your home and your life. Forgive those people and situations that you've been dragging around for a while. 
Your native spirit wants you to know in the medicine wheel, the north is the direction that symbolizes the darkest time of the night, the coldest part of winter, the dark of the moon. It also represents the elder time of life and even a time of endings. Pulling the spirit keeper of the north indicates that it's time to take measure of your life. Explore what's working and what's not working. What and whom do you need to release? It's also the time to make repairs in your physical environment, as well as make repairs to your body. Additionally, this is the time to begin to dream and make plans regarding your future. Your ancestors are close at this time. Call on them. They want to help you. If you live in the Southern Hemisphere and draw this card, read Spirit Keeper of the South instead for the meanings are reversed. Okay. So if any of you who are listening that do live in the South and you would like me to make a copy of the Spirit Keeper of the South, then just email me. Go on my website, thecreativewoman.org, and send me a message. Okay, so we have that one. So I'm getting some of you, again, this is a general reading, so you are, you've either done this, I'm getting some of you are in process right now, you're like ending this, completing this process. Some of you could be beginning this process or you could even be in the, you know, in the middle of it, depending on when you're watching this video and where you are at in general in June here. Okay. Ancestors, yes. So you could definitely be getting um, messages from your ancestors, passed over loved ones. Absolutely. I know I have. I have. Yes, this is a very happy surprise. And so maybe you too, and who knows, I don't know, maybe someone will come through in this video. I don't know. I will definitely say everything that comes into my head. Okay, so let's see. Oops, sent any of those cards. Okay. Okay. Being called to get a fairy card for my fairy deck with the beautiful butterfly on the front. The transforming Pisces. It is something so beautiful and outstanding and unique. So keep going. Okay, so what does Pisces need to know? About this month or about ancestors Pisces Sun moon rising north or south notes of the moon Pisces to know. It's a very specific card. I got the feeling to get this deck. I'm not sure. Do I need another deck first? Something's coming out for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising. North or South Node of the Moon. Hmm. Okay, just a second. Let me just set this card, this deck aside. Let me get another one. Okay, so, so this might need to come out first before the fairy cards. So let's just see, what does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? What affirmation is important for Pisces to hear for this June right now? the end of 
June 2024. What do they need to know? Pisces. Sun, moon, rising. North or south nodes of the moon for Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? Come on, Pisces. Wow, they're mysterious. Holding something close to your vest here. What's going on with Pisces? Do they need to know? Oh, there we go. Okay, that was took a little bit, but we got it. Okay, the first one was this one. I am exactly who I need to be in this moment. Pisces, you are exactly who you need to be right in this very moment. Oh, we've got another one. All your past actions are teaching moments for your present self. Every lesson takes you to the present moment to exactly who you need to be. That's beautiful. Okay. This one was stuck to the other card. I allow myself to love who I am, not who I think I should be. That's a good one. I allow myself to love who I am, not who I think I should be. If you take away all the who I should be, what is left? You start hearing the silence, the present, and you receive a gift, peace of mind. Love and embrace who you are right now. Beautiful. Last but not least, I embrace my unique individuality. I embrace my unique individuality. Follow your heart, not the expectations of others. Have the courage to ask yourself, who am I? And embrace it. Beautiful. Okay, now let's see if something will come out from this fairy deck. Now, are you ready to come out? Oh, there's one right there. Oh, I believe. Well, you know what? Pisces, that is our saying. I'm a Pisces too. So this is our saying, I believe. Believe in your abilities to accomplish great things. Move forward in the profound way needed for your future work. Wow. That's a big deal, Pisces. That's a big deal. That's beautiful. You see that light? That bright light is shining on you. It's time for you to be shining. For the light, for the spotlight to be on you, Pisces. That is beautiful. Okay. So... Else. Let me see what time it is. Let's, I can get one more card. Okay. All right. So let's see what what card wants to come out and tell you. Give you some, oops, some more details. Let's do that one more time, Pisces. Okay. So what else is that? Okay. Enter. It's number 15. It breaks down into a six. Enter, yes. A new door is opening for you. Don't be scared and leave. You can do this. You can do this because you're about to enter into a brand new world. A world that you are currently creating for yourself. A world that matches who you are right now. Who you've grown into. A beautiful world. 
a bright, beautiful, colorful, peaceful, happy world, Pisces. That is so beautiful. And I am so proud of you and I am so happy for you. And I just heard, take hold of it. Take hold of this time, Pisces. You've got it. You've got it. Look at that. Your hard work, whatever that hard work has been, to accomplish where you're at right now, each one of you, a door is opening. A brand new door. Okay. Well, Pisces, that's all I have for you for this month. And I want to thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. And until next time, bye.